I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the Heat. Got a very cool pepper to talk about today, and a cool story. Um, the pepper is Papadretti. The Papadretti Scotch bun. All right, I have two of them. I got them from uh, Uncle Bull Cow. But this one comes with a great story that I want to read you. I, I got, I, listen, I pulled this from uh, uh, Refining Fire Chilies is where I got this information. Um, so I'll uh, start by telling you a little bit about this. this is, it's, uh, Jim Duffy is the one who owns that. So thank you, Jim, for this information, for letting me borrow it. I didn't actually ask him, but I'm giving him credit. Um, Papa Dreddy Scotch Bonnet is the Capsicum Chinense. This Scotch Bonnet was brought to the Chile community by grower Aaron Mason. Okay, now Aaron Mason, Aaron passed away in August of 2015. And so to honor uh, his memory, they put this information on the, on the site. Really good, for, he was a great friend of Gary Moncom, and Gary is a good friend of mine. Um, Gary's a great guy. Um, anyway, uh, so musician, songwriter, silversmith, and chilihead, Aaron Mason, known to many in the hot pepper forums as Papa G P. Dreddy, Papa Dreddy, or um, uh, uh, pa he has passed away. Aaron was an enigma, one of the most interesting and creative, yet gentle and loving guys Gary ever knew. Many of the growers uh, may be unaware that he played harmonica in one of the, uh, Austin's original band, uh, bands uh, in the early 70s, Cosmic Cowboy era, uh, Alvin, uh, Alvin Crow and the uh, Pleasant Valley Boys. Um, when Aaron decided to step off uh, Alvin's perpetually touring bus and return to Amarillo, he traveled to Jamaica. All right, this is where it all happened. He fell in love with the reggae beat in Jamaica uh, and collected the best Scotch bonnets he could he could find. Um, and his alter ego, Papa Dreddy, was born in 2013. Aaron sent a few of, uh, pods back to Gary, okay, of the Scotch bonnet that he'd been breeding, carefully selecting descendants of the original fruit he brought back. He had brought back from the Caribbean years earlier. Anyway, Gary harvested them, um, and Gary was instrumental in this. Gary's such a good person. Anyway, Papa Dreddy is also called Scotch bonnet select, as Aaron never grew too many varieties in his own garden. But anyway, um, this is a tribute to Aaron. You know, there's some, you know what, here's a funny thing. There's so many people are just now finding this channel. And probably a lot of you didn't even know about the Chile community. It's funny, when I first heard, true story, confession, when I first heard or somebody say in a video, the Chile community, and this is going back about a decade, a little over 10 years ago, I remember laughing. I probably laughed out loud. I thought, Chile community? There's a beautiful, chilly community, and it's a tight-knit group of people who really care and love each other. So I uh, just wanted to share that with you. So uh, Uncle Bull Cow grew these. Beautiful Papa Dreddy Scotch bonnets. Now the heat uh, is going to be anywhere from, uh, from what I read, 120, Scotch bonnet, 125 to uh, three or 400,000. We'll see. But they're beautiful peppers. So I don't know what you're doing today. I hope it's a great day for you. Uh, if you're going to be in the uh, Ohio area, please come out to Jungle Gym's Weekend of Fire this weekend. Uh, I'm going to be there with um, Christine, Christina from uh, the office. She's in charge of shipping and handling. She's the rock that keeps everybody in this office stable, and she's the glue. Uh, Danny's going to be there and myself at Jungle Gym's. We're also going to have this. This is the new, we, I just reviewed this last night. If you haven't seen this video, you need to. This is an ice cream sandwich, but it's freeze dried. And in the center of this is seven pot Primo powder. These are the most amazing things. Um, I want to shout out to Drew Verdon. Uh, when I reviewed it last night, Drew came up with the idea. He said the name should be Ice Cream Challenge. Instead of ice cream, ice cream. So I told that to David. And it, this, so this is the ice cream fire bar challenge. Fire bar. It's a very cool thing. We're gonna have these this weekend at Jungle Gems. Everybody's doing pre-ordering right now. The link's in the description box, so get it now. 
everybody who's pre-ordering now, are, they're going to be shipped on Tuesday. But if you're at Jungle Gems, you can buy them this weekend. These are amazing. All right, so let's uh, eat these peppers. I have an orange one uh, and a yellow one. I'm going to eat the orange one first. They're relatively thin-walled. Not like a Seven Pot Primo thin. But very fruity, kind of a bright aroma, if that makes any sense. There are a few dark seeds I've left in there. Hold on a second. You know, if I go really slow, it doesn't weird the camera out. You're seeing this in stunning Robbie vision. Let me do it this way. There we go. Look at that. I have a thick wall. The vein runs up the entire length. Here's the other, the other half. You can see a, a little dark seed in there. Nothing to worry about though. These smell super fruity. My first time eating a Papa Dreddy, so it's kind of cool. Thank you, Gary, for your uh, hand in this. Thank you, uh, Uncle Bull Cow, for growing this to me. Thank you, Jim, for allowing me to read that stuff off your channel. Although I didn't ask him. Here we go. I'm Johnny Scoble, and this is Chase the Heat. Wow, that's a really good tasting pepper. Really a good pepper. All right, so it's fruity. Um, there was a little bit of sweetness up front, which was just beautiful. Slight citrus notes. The citrus notes faded away the quickest. The, the sweetness faded away, excuse me. The sweetness dissipated the, quick, the quickest. Then the citrus faded. And then there was a little bit of bitterness at the end. So it was really interesting. A lot of flavors on that pod. Um, the burns on my tongue. No burn at all in my throat, but just my tongue. Um, now, here's something interesting. In the past, when I've eaten, if you, anybody who's eaten the habanero knows that they tend to sting. You know what I mean? Versus burn. Very different. Ghost peppers burn, peppers burn. Habaneros sting. Now, the Scotch bonnet is very similar. It's a similar uh, pepper, a similar family, I believe, uh, to a habanero. They're kind of like cousins. I, in the last, uh, last time, I have had a lot of people ask if there are any other pepper that burns the same way that a habanero does. And I've always said, I don't think so. The pepper I just ate, that Papa Dreddy, had a bit of a sting to it. And it's not a habanero, it's a scotch bonnet. So that's very neat because I've never had a, uh, any other pepper really other than a habanero do that. Pretty cool. Uh, heat on this. If you're somebody who's never eaten anything hot, this is still a doable pepper. It would be, if you've never eaten anything hot, this would be a, a shock to your system. If you eat hot stuff all the time and you're a chili head, this is probably a four to a six maybe. Maybe three. I can see a real strong chili head saying it's a three. It moves my needle. I, mean, I can tell there's it's spicy, but barely moves it. But it's a delicious pepper. Hey, if you're, you know, I'm not too worried. The most important thing isn't really the heat of it, it's the flavor. Something I want to mention at the end of this video, I want you guys to stick around and pay attention for. Oh. Now this one has different aroma. This one is more citrusy. It seems just a little bit more citrusy. It smells so good. It smells so fruity. I think I showed you guys the interiors. I did. There you go. Beautiful, right? Papa Dreddy. Papa Dreddy. It's got fun. Wow. Wow, oh, 
And I tell you, that was a really delicious pepper. I mean, that was so much better. The first one was good. That second one was so good. It was fruity. It had sort of almost had like melon notes, like honeydew. And I think it was a little bit hotter than the first one. Now, the first one, the burn was only in my mouth. Now it's sort of gone to my throat just a little bit. Oh, wow, is that delicious, a delicious pepper. So something I wanted to say, so hang on. <laughs> There's a lot of people that are brand new to the channel right now. I just want to kind of go over the rules quickly. I never ever do. It's a family friendly channel. The reason I say that is we have so many little kids that watch this show with their parents. Um, we're about to turn seven years old. I've had so many parents, and I mean this now, either in comments or with emails, tell me that they don't let their kids on YouTube. I'm the only channel they let their kids watch because they know they're never going to hear something bad. Well, they're never going to hear something bad because I'm never going to say a wrong word that a little child, a, ch a child shouldn't hear. At the same rate, by the same token, they all, they can read. So we need to keep it clean in the comments. Someone gave, uh, someone was commenting saying, why is it, you know, no cursing? We have the rules I have. I have those rules because children read the comments. They watch the show with their family. So we just need to keep it family friendly. It's really important. That was the reason I started the channel, was to create family-friendly content that was exciting and fun. So I just want to remind everybody that um, every time there's a new inflow, a big inflow of people, I, I feel like I need to kind of remind everybody of that. Um, everybody's been really good for the most part, uh, but I want to welcome all the new people on the, on the bus. Anyway, those peppers were great. The, uh, the last pepper was uh, probably one notch hotter than the first, so maybe a four to a... Maybe a four to a seven. I can see somebody who's a chili head saying it was just, it was hotter than maybe up to a seven, but very very tasty pepper. Those peppers would be great uh, as a salsa. Blackening those in a pan, just frying them up. Just a very very tasty pepper. Pepper. All right, and that was from Uncle Bull Cow once again. All right, so uh, we're wrapping it up right now. Please, if you're in the Ohio area this weekend, you got to come out to Jungle Gyms. Um, and get a chance to get some of the new products that we have from Blazing Foods. You're gonna, you saw one of them last night. I'll show you one more time. Just an amazing product. Very, very cool. But uh, thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, hang out with me. Be kind to somebody today. Thank you, Uncle Bull Cow, for the peppers in the description box. Um, you're gonna see a link for Uncle Bull Cow. He's a great guy. Um, Pods, challenges, some of the craziest stuff. He's got it. Right there is the pepper. Click the pepper. The door of this bus swings open and you get on it. I'm just your driver, guys. If you don't want to miss a video, don't. Uh, just click the bell for notification. When you see the Dropbox, select all. But ultimately, if you just visit us every day, you won't miss anything. Um, if you want stuff over and above, get your bus pass. I'm going to do a bunch of bus pass stuff this weekend. A lot of vaccine bus from the hotel room, everything is going to be bus pass. So if you want to see that content, hit the tab that says join. It's $4.99 a month. Almost 100 videos there, aftermaths, uh, challenges. You won't be, uh, be disappointed. Right there is a lifeboat. That is my brother's channel about living a happy, sober life after you stumbled with a substance or an addiction. So if somebody you know is having a problem, please check it out. Right there, more videos. I love you guys. I'm Johnny Scovo. This, this was Chase Thieves.